This program contains true stories of rescues. All of the 911 calls you will hear are real. Whenever possible, the actual people involved have helped us reconstruct the events as they happened. On Christmas Eve of 1991 in North Pole, Alaska, Rick Bourne decided to take his three-year-old daughter, Ashley, for a ride on the family's dog sled, as they've done so many times in the past. He had no idea that this time would be so different. Okay, Ashley, now I want you to be really careful, okay? And listen to what Daddy says. My right. husband loves dog sledding. He is just a fanatic. You gotta be a good girl and be careful. Everyone. I get a little paranoid about him taking Ashley out. Some, there's too many things that could happen. She'd be really good, all right? And listen to Daddy, okay? Ashley loves to be with her dad. She loves to be out there wherever he is. She would do just about anything. I don't know how or why, but she does it. On that afternoon, it was five degrees below zero. I'll get these dogs hooked up and we'll go mushing today. Normally, I'd anchor the dogs off when I hook them up, so if they ever decided to take off, they're anchored down. But the dogs have always set in their spot, so that day I decided not to use it. Come on, go. Usually when they hook up the team, it usually goes fairly smooth, but that day, for some reason, they were a little jitterish. I should have picked up on that. Stop! Stop! I yelled my command, stop, and they, as soon as they took off, stop! but they would not stop. I just watched the sled pull away from me. I could hear Ashley screaming stop! the whole time. She was yelling at the dogs to stop, and then she was yelling for Daddy to help, and I just felt so helpless. Being as cold as it was, my hair froze and my face froze. There was absolutely nothing I could do but pray and just keep on moving and hope that somebody or something came along. But being Christmas Eve, I really didn't expect to see anyone out there. Rick kept searching without finding any sign of the sled. More than 30 minutes went by. The thought of her dying ran through my mind. It was a horrifying thought, but they were heading down in an area where there were so many different trails that just go for so many miles. I knew that without help, there was no way in the world that I could find my little girl. Sean Aldrich and Brett Lewis, two off-duty medics, happened to be snowmobiling in the area that day. We got down the trail for about approximately two miles. This man comes running straight at me. I have a runaway dog here. I need your help. My little girl's in the back. I'll take it on. The man told me that the dog team had got about a 45-minute jump on us. So I knew we had to cover some ground. We had to act quick. If she wasn't found within an hour to an hour and a half or so, the girl could have died. The temperature takes its toll real quick. We were doing speeds about 72 to 75 miles an hour because up here the sun dumps real quick. And once that happens, there's no light at all.
The first sign we saw of Ashley was a sleeping bag. The first thing that came to my mind was, oh my God, she's dead, because the sleeping bag was not moving. But there was nothing in the sleeping bag. And uh, at that point, I really didn't know what to think, but that she was gonna freeze to death. I knew that the cold had, had to be getting to her. When it's that cold, you don't just start getting cold and you feel numb. The coldness bites into you, you can feel it just biting you. It's like a burn, it really hurts. I knew Ashley had been hurting really bad at that time. I was begging God to, to help me and help Ashley. I was behind Brett and I saw the little girl waving her arms. It was a great relief to see Ashley. I just wanted to hold her. And then the next thing that was through my mind was, well, let's see how much damage we have here. Are you okay, Ashley? Are you okay? Are you cold? When I first got to the little girl, she was as cold as a popsicle. Her hands were pretty cold and her arms were shaking in the air. It was hard to tell if she was shivering at that point because she was so excited about seeing her father. Um, okay. I made a quick assessment of the little girl's injuries and I did notice frostbite on her uh, her cheek and it looked like she might have had some on her one of her hands yeah if we hadn't found her when we did I doubt that she would have survived the night out there they rushed Ashley back to where Rick had left his truck and he took her home Brett decided to search for the missing team of dogs. I found a trail that turned off to the right, another trail, and I got onto it, and uh, it dumped right out onto the railroad tracks. And I looked down the tracks, and uh, the dogs were running down the center of the tracks. I tried to get my snow machine up alongside of them because they're running too fast for me to jump off and catch them. Finally, I got one hand on the sled and jumped from my snow machine and the dogs felt the weight of me and uh, slowed them down and they stopped. After Brett had told me what he had to go through to retrieve those dogs, to me it just seemed it was above and beyond his call of duty. Helping me find my daughter was a top priority. Helping me track down my dog team was beyond what you'd expect from a normal person. All right. Thanks a lot. I asked his father was pretty grateful that uh, his daughter was okay and that uh, the dog team was unhurt. I'm not going to do it without you. How's Ashley doing? Now she's doing fine now. She's at home with her mom getting warmed up. I know if I'm broke down on the highway, I'd certainly want somebody to stop and help me. You could be in the same boat, so. I don't feel I'm a hero. I, I do feel that it was fortunate that, that Brett and myself happened to be in the area. Well, I couldn't have made it without you guys. You guys help. The main thing was that Ashley was okay, and uh, it was a pretty good Christmas present. Hey. Three-year-old Ashley Bourne did suffer some frostbite, but within a week, it was completely healed. In the tiny village of North Pole, Alaska, one family discovered that year that Christmas wishes really can come Very true. Very good, Ashley. You're doing so good. You're doing good. We got a special Christmas gift that year. That We got our daughter's life. She just fills the room with, with love. When you're around her, you just automatically love Ashley. <laughs> if she wasn't here, I just it would break my heart not to have her with us now. I, I can't picture my life without Ashley. We still go out sledding. She still yeah. likes to. Uh, she still yells her commands at the dogs after I do. But she's always quick to remind me to anchor the sled before she gets in the basket. Yeah. I like to go with my dogs and with my daddy. Because I love to go dog sledding. And because I love my daddy.